Welcome back students. Today we are going to see unary operators. Before seeing unary operators, let me explain what is operator. Let us have an example 5 plus 6. Here we have two values 5 and 6 which is being operated by the symbol which is plus. Here the plus symbol is called an operator then 5 and 6 these both are operands so the operator operates two operands then it is binary operator okay so that is plus is a binary operator in this case same like this minus division and multiplication also can be binary operators if it is a unary operator then it will operate only one operand how let us see with an example program Class unary public static y main of string of arguments. Let us have two variables here int x comma y. So I am initializing y's value as seven. Let x let x is equal to y. So the y's value is going to be stored in the variable called x. Let us print this. Value of x equal to plus x so instead of y i just give plus y so which is a unary operator here so will there be any change no there won't be any change because if plus operator proceeds the value does not change compile this So the value of x is 7. Let us have minus instead of plus. So the unary minus. So which is going to change the value. If minus precedes an operand, operator inverts the value of an operand. Like 7 is there for y. Then minus 7 means automatically it becomes minus 7 so x value is going to be minus 7 let us see here so you can see x is minus 7 the next we have increment operator and decrement operator let us see the increment operator so increment operator is given by plus plus symbol again we have two subtype of it that is plus plus y or y plus plus what is the difference between these two the plus plus y is called pre increment so that means before evaluating the expression the value is incremented and then it is evaluated in case if it is y plus plus first the value is substituted to that variable and then after evaluating then only the value increases let us have 
first plus plus and then execute so the value of y is 7 it is pre increment pre means before no so the value of y becomes 8 and then it is substituted to x let us print the value of y also here so we will be clearly understanding it here x value is 8 and then y's value also 8 it incremented before the evaluation only compile this so you can see x also 8 and then y is also 8 let us change this to post increment post increment is y plus plus see here the y's value is 7 the 7 values first substituted are stored in x so that is x value is going to be 7 after evaluating the expression y's value is going to be changed so that is incremented by 1 that becomes 8 so y will be 8 when it prints so x is going to be 7 after evaluating y becomes 8 see the value of x is equal to 7 value of y is equal to 8 so this is increment the same like this decrement is also there pre decrement and post decrement pre decrement is minus minus so what happens if minus minus y so as it is pre the value of y first going to be 6 then it evaluates that means 6 is substituted to x so it is going to be x values 6 and then y's value it remains 6 compile this So let us change this to post decrement so that is y minus minus see post means after evaluating right so the y's value is 7 here the 7 is substituted in x so that is it is stored in x so the x value is 7 after evaluating this expression the y's value is decremented by 1 so that is 6 let us compile this So the value of x is 7, value of y is 6. Students, let me again summarize this. We have unary operators here, that is 4 unary operators. That is plus unary, minus unary. In plus unary, we can't see the changes. In minus unary, we can see the change that it negates the value then increment when we come to increment part there are two types pre increment and post increment pre increment it increases the value and evaluates the expression post increments it evaluates the expression then increments same like that we have decrement operator that is minus minus so pre pre decrement it decreases the value then evaluates the expression in case of post decrement it evaluates the value and then decrease the value of the variable students i hope you understood unary operator very well let me explain some example sums theoretically for your exams in next video so please watch my videos and if you subscribe this you will have an intimation 
whenever I upload you will get a intimation so better you subscribe and keep watching thank you students